veliki pozdrav i dobrodošli u još jedno izdanje emisije Oni vole Srbiju. Nalazim se u Subotici, u gradu Spartaka, gdje ću danas imati priliku da razgovaram sa futbalerom glavih golubova Edmunom Adom. Nije tajna da je ovaj futbaler dugo bio meta Crvene zvezde, ali je pre nekoliko meseci pojačao redove Subotičkog Spartaka. Zbog čega je rešio da nastavi karijeru u Srbiji, saznat ćemo direktno njega. I wasn't ready. Ah, but I wasn't it wasn't ready. so fast. It wasn't ah. so fast. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> okay, okay. You come. I have a good I have a good shot here. Yeah, good shot. It's okay. Now? But I wasn't ready. You didn't advise me. Ah, okay. You didn't advise me. <laughs> I didn't have the strength in my arm. Wait, so I need to you need to say hello first. How are you? Yeah, You're doing good. You're good? Yeah, good. good? You're done with your training? Yeah, I'm just done now. So yeah. you can try to do them. Yeah, but you want to play with me now? Yeah, yeah to see. Uh, I don't know why I didn't warm up. Didn't warm up now. I don't, I don't know what, if I'm ready, if I can do that. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. You just one and two things, then we continue. Because you didn't warm up now, so you maybe you play some touches. Okay. You know? But your foot is a little bit is like this, right? Yeah, so that you can give good pass. So you're kind of talented, I think. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, I was but kidding. You, but, but you tried good. <laughs> I was good. kidding. I mean, maybe the... Right, the uh -huh. right is my good it's leg. Good. Maybe you try left. Yeah, I know the left. I think it's not my leg. You okay, see? but okay. this yeah, is but show me something more difficult. That's easy. That's this easy. Is difficult, right? Yeah, oh, okay. That's not that, okay, then you try something oh, okay. like this. No, not much, but something. Oh, then you okay. get fast. Yeah, but wait. Oh my god, uh, <laughs> I can't okay. do it. I'm so bad. <laughs> Maybe three. Maybe I just want to try. Yeah. Ah. I, mean, I want to see you. You're <laughs> so mad with me. I want to see you. Okay, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like, you know. <laughs> it's not that hard, though. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely do not have talent for this kind of kind things. Of things yeah, Wait, right. I'm just pretending because I don't want to show you my big talent in yeah, football, sure. you know? Yeah, okay. Are you sure about uh, that? <laughs> I don't know. You are telling me now, so we'll see. Shall we go so, to the city, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it's better. Maybe it's better that way. It's yeah. better. <laughs> Of course so. <laughs> Actually, this is my second time in Subotica. Mm. So you need to be my guide today. <laughs> Where yeah. are we now? Okay, so now we are at the center, I think, yeah. So, but this is the center. And then I'll show you, maybe I'll show you some places that I know, you know, maybe. It's a little, but so like uh, beautiful as a as a city. Do you like living here in Subotica? Yeah, yeah, I like living here. It's kind of very cool. It's it was not like uh, it's it's a place that you can live your life, you know, just be in your own, you know, go around somewhere. It's kind of small, but very beautiful with the people and everyone. It's good for like a professional sport right now to mm -hmm. have a place like this when you have you can concentrate on football and later you yeah can, yeah this yeah. is the like this this is the best you know because here it's a little bit small and you don't have a, like a lot of places to go mm -hmm. you know just very small so from maybe you come out to drink some coffee then go inside have a little bit fun and so it's kind of good for for those kind of things yeah like I can chill, say. Yeah, just right? a little bit chill. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to go somewhere like you know like very far place. It's just around the center. It's different, like from Ghana, because before you tell me, like Ghana is so dynamic, like as a country. Tell me, Ghana is so energetic. You're from Accra, is yeah. like the capital yeah. city. Yeah, yeah. In, in, so in like Accra, from big. In Accra, it's very big. You know, it's like uh, I don't know how to say. It's like a very fun place. Mm -hmm. You know, you. You know, you have a lot of things to go or where to go, but in here it's a little bit small but fun. You don't need to stress yourself. Mm -hmm. So me, me, when I like, I was here, I feel, I feel comfortable. Even like if you are from uh, Accra, your first steps in football 
wherein Mam Robi, yeah, right? Yeah, in Mam Robi. Yeah, I, yeah. I played said it correctly. Cosmos. Yeah, yeah, Mam Robi. So, how everything started with football? Oh, okay, started let's say when I was ten. Mm -hmm. By then, I started uh, a juvenile team called uh, Mighty Cosmos. Mm -hmm. So I start from there, and I found a one agent called Oliver Atta. Uh, then, from Ghana? Yeah, he was from, from Ghana. Ghana. He was from Ghana. He's one of the big agency. Yeah. So he took me and out there to go to Italy. So I got the opportunity from there because we play one game. In Italy? Got... Al no, no. Yeah, ah, Poco. Poco? <laughs> yeah, see, see. So we go to Italy and uh, my first trials was in, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, I go, like, I play a couple of. Um, like justify in some clubs, you know, like Bologna. So from then, then I got myself to uh, Slovakia. Mm -hmm. I play FK Center, and from there I went to Russia. I had the chance to uh, speak with another football player from Ghana, Osman Bukhari, which is your good friend. Yeah, my good friend. And, I, <laughs> and he told me once that when we were talking about his childhood in Ghana, that Ghana and the families are pretty big, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So do you have a big family? Yeah, yeah I have a, a really big family. How many it's guys? Like, <laughs> wait, 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 I need to remember. <laughs> I need to remember, like, because I cannot say it's kind of very big, you know with siblings and everything. Ah, it's really big family. Okay, but tell me a number. How many that siblings is. do you have? Siblings, I have five. Five? So, okay, um, people in Serbia got to know you actually when you were playing against the Red Star. At the time, you were a player of a shirt. And that was your first contact with Serbia, with this country. So I would like to bring you back to that night yeah. when you remember your game against Red Star. How was the atmosphere? What's the first thing that's popping up to your mind when you think about that game, sharing against Red Star? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a whole lot, you know, like uh, the atmosphere was great. Mm -hmm. And you know, before I was watching, those people that I play with or with uh, Red Star, with uh, Real Madrid and the couple of the teams, uh, it's like I was back then. I was watching them playing, like watching them when they are playing Champions League. Mm -hmm. I play Champions League with Real Madrid, and I play with uh, Red Star. But the fans, it's all the atmosphere in Red Star is very big. And, you know, even like I cannot even hear when the referee whistle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was so noisy and. <laughs> <laughs> Red Star yeah, fans are really devoted to the players and they really feel this energy and the players can feel the energy. So I'm glad you had that, this impression yeah, when you yeah, played. It's, uh, I, I, feel, I still feel, you know, I, that's why I, I, like, I, I like to be there, you know, because I feel like, oh, this team is really great, you know, how the fans are. And I really enjoy the game too. So, so people in Serbia got to know you on that occasion that people all around Europe got to know you when again, uh, again with Sheriff, you play against Real Madrid and Sheriff was actually a kind of underdog against Real Madrid, <laughs> but you won and you did amazing that night. So tell me about that night, that emotion. I mean, it was a big <laughs> thing for you yeah, because you a, met your, your idol. Yeah, you yeah, met Tony Cross. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I met Tony Cross. And I... I was very big surprise, you know. And I, I can tell you one thing, I, the whole night, like uh, before the game, you know, I, I couldn't eat, you know. You couldn't eat? <laughs> yes, because, For the stress? You were just, yeah, because okay. I was thinking like, you know, for me, I was thinking like, oh, okay, we are, we are just going to try our best. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't believe that we will win, you know, for, for sure. Uh, I know that I'm going to try my best. I will show them like uh, who I am and I can play with them. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so that's, that's what's in my mind. Uh, I mean, like, uh, you played, you were covering Luka Modric, the golden ball, and uh, that you, yeah, in that occasion, you show, like, your energy and your passion that, okay, I'm here to win, I'm here to play, I don't care who's in front of me. So that's, mm -hmm. that's the thing that's really yeah, yeah, remarkable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, it's really, it's really because, you know, okay, uh, for the first time, you know, like, I tell you, like, the night before the game, I was, I was feeling like, you know, so, so down, like, oh, are we going? Like, are we going to win, 
oh, we are going to draw, you know. That's the only thing in my mind. But I said, okay, no, we can do it, you know. I'm just going out to do what I have to do, you know. Uh, mark them, like, I'll make them feel me like, you know, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all in my mind. You know? <laughs> that's all in my mind. And I'm glad I put it in the game and it yeah. works for us. So. And I imagine you couldn't sleep two days after the game. Yeah, oh, of happy course. Yeah, yeah, because of the, course. And the calls and, you know, like, family, everyone is happy. Like, and and do you have, like, the chance to meet your idol? Is Tony Cross, was Tony yeah, Cross yeah, your yeah, idol yeah, when yeah, he was I little? Really, How do you I like really, him so much? I like him so much because I don't know, like, he plays he play really good. You know? I like the passes and the stuff. And there's maybe. I don't know, a Serbian player that you really like, that like how he's playing. I don't know, uh, there's maybe? Uh, maybe Matic. Matic? Why? <laughs> yeah, because I play midfield and I look up for all midfielders, so now I just watch and I like Manchester United, you know, so. Uh -huh. So when I see Matic there too, I was like, oh, okay, it's kind of good. But I always watch every midfielder and to see what they have and what I don't have, you know. Sure, because you're a physician, so <laughs> you're looking. Yeah, I always, something. always. So, like, it's not a secret that Red Star wanted you so hard, the ex-coach Red Star, Dan Stankovic, wanted you so hard, but uh, you didn't meet it because at that time you were a player of shirt. But somehow, this country, Serbia, was in your destiny because you signed with Spartak. Yeah. So tell me how everything started with Sparta. How started this story? Uh, okay, so Sparta, let's say, like I'm honored to Sparta. I, I, I say big thanks to them, you know, because I was in a really bad position, and then they come to save me. Let's say, because they helped me a lot. I, I wasn't thinking like I'll be in Serbia, but here yeah, I'm in Serbia, and I am glad that I'm here that I play for Spartak and play, Do you like yeah. being in Serbia? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be in Serbia. Everything is, is okay. Uh, the coaches, the staffs, the fans here, yeah, like everyone accepts me and then I'm really glad. I wasn't thinking like that though, but it was so surprised for me that they like everyone like me, just, just like that. Yeah, because the only contact with this country was the game against Red Star. You didn't live here, you didn't... You only knew Osman, Osman that yeah, was yeah, living yeah, here. Yeah. Did he but, tell you uh, something yeah. good about this country, <laughs> about living here? Yeah, yeah, he told me, he told me something good. He said uh, everything here is it's good. And then you... Because when I, when I got the chance to come to Spartak, I contacted him. And I said, ah, oh, this is what I got. What do you, like, what yeah. you think? And he said, ah. Oh, it's really good, my friend. You, you need to come and experience with us. You so need to come. I was like, yeah, okay. And he was like, oh, you, when we met you, I'll fuck you up. And I was like, oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. uh, but of course, we lose against them, but we're still pushing to try and make good because the season is ending, though. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. So I have a lot of questions for you, but should we change location? Lunch? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. Make a break? Make a break, and yeah. Let's <laughs> go, go, let's go. So the food arrived, we already yeah. ordered it, and you're not eating meat. Yeah. You're not the first uh, professional yeah. sport that it's eating only fish. Why that decision? No, I don't know. I just like fish, you know. You feel better? Yeah, I feel better when I eat fish, so I just like fish. I eat meat, but not, not like always. It's like the way I eat fish. Mm -hmm. Before when we were walking, we talked a little bit of your career and we talked a lot about Sheriff and 
you know that when I was uh, doing this kind of research about you, I found something that was really made me made me think a little bit that when you were a teenager, you had a very bad moment in your career and you almost wanted to give up on football and go to work as a mechanic. Is that true? <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Uh, because, you know, in Africa it's really hard you know, to be a professional footballer. It's, it's hard because when you don't get the support, you know, you know nobody trying to help you. Only you, you can do your effort, but, you know, they will just see as granted, you know. They are not serious maybe to have someone who could help you by then you know so maybe you have to try your possible best to happen but it's just like god grace you know this one man called olivata and he helps me but before i was thinking oh it is better because i have this guy called don he's my good friend it was a mechanic you know he always like gave me money to support you know and buy me football shoes mm -hmm. yeah, so i was thinking like okay if I'm trying and it is not happening, then why not I go join him to work? And he said, oh, don't worry, keep on trying. Mm -hmm. Everywhere that I go, mm -hmm. and people were saying, oh, like, oh, this guy is really good, you know, I hear, but nobody tells me, you know, but I hear some rumors, you know, oh, like, oh, this guy is really good in football, you know, so. But just that, you know, it's hard in Africa. It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard, yeah. So to become a professional is not easy, you know. Sometimes you go for justifies or maybe you not. Know, when you go, you you can see yourself like ah, I, I play really good. I am making uh, good in these games, you know. But they will be like, oh, okay, you, you you are not ready, yeah. you know. But if I see how I play, you know. And sometimes so you can go to justify somewhere and you'll be picked, you know, like, oh, okay, they'll choose you, but sometimes you need to pay some money, maybe, I don't know, for them to help you with some papers, you know. And mm -hmm. when you don't have that money too, you know, because the money it is not like something small. It's yeah. really big money and you could not even find someone to help you, you know, because uh, where I'm from, we are, not, we are not that rich, you know. So that's, that all those kind of things, you know, calm you down, you know, make you think like uh, trying football and it doesn't happen and why don't I think about something else, you know, to do. How do you overcome this bad situation even now when you have, I don't know, a bad game, a bad day and you need to find the strength to go forward? How do you deal with this stressful situation? Yeah, okay, this kind of situation, I take it cool, you know, I just put it out there, you know, like, I take off of my mind. Yeah. When when it comes to, you know, I have problems a lot, you know, <laughs> like a lot of problems, but when it comes to the game, I take off my mind from those kind of problems, you know, because I like football. Mm -hmm. So when I play football, I'm happy. Sure. So yeah, so I never, I don't care about what you said or what you say. To me, I always feel free, confidence and happy to play my football that's all but the situation comes always you know but after the game maybe you start to think again mm -hmm. you know you go back then and you be like why this is happening why this is happening mm -hmm. but it's normal you know yeah. nothing nothing come easy everything you have to pass through some struggles then after you'll be a victoria so. yeah looking at, at the goal yeah looking at, yeah. at the goal got it Please take it. I don't want that to get to get cold. And I really would like you yeah. to try this because I know you don't. You prefer fish, yeah. but this is like very nice. It's like a fried cheese. We used to mm. eat this in Serbia. So okay. I really would like you to to try it. And uh, yeah. uh, you told me you're just concentrated. You have your goal. But tell me about the relationship with your teammates. I know that someone in your team help you so much to integrate and to learn something about Serbia, but mm. language. <laughs> so who yeah, teach yeah. you? Who teach you Serbian? <laughs> oh, okay, like some of a lot of them, but Stanlich too. I know if you know him, Stanlich is really good teaching me those kind of words in Serbia. <laughs> but it's, I, like I said, it's really kind of bad words. You know? 
Kind of bad, bad words. Okay, nothing, <laughs> nothing else. Uh, Can you say hello? How are you? I cannot. I can't say. I cannot say hello. How are you? But uh, when do you ask me like you? When you ask me like how am I? I can answer you. You know. Uh, like a dog. Okay. Uh, that's all. You know. I, I do this kind of. Thing. Oh, oh, that's good, that's good. I'm yeah, impressed, I'm impressed. Of... So it's not only bad words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. only bad words. There's... Yeah, yeah. Interesting because uh, uh, you told me that you are from you are from the main city, from Accra. Yeah. And in Accra, you speak English, but you have a lot of other languages. Languages, yeah, yeah. And uh, we talked before about your friend, Osman Bukhari. Yeah. And you don't speak the same language, right? No, Osman speaks Chi and I speak Ga. Chi and Ga. Yeah. And that's like a language uh, of Ghana? Official? Uh, yeah, official. Sure. But Chi too is now, like everyone speaks Chi now in Ghana. In Ghana, okay. Yeah. And what's the difference? Is like a lot of difference? You can understand each other? No, it's a lot of difference. A lot of difference? Yeah, a lot of difference. It's, it, but uh, we, we understand each other. If only you learn. Because I can speak like Osma. Mm -hmm. But he, I don't know if he can speak like me because I, we, he never speak my language, you know. But I always speak with him on his language. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I don't know. Okay, I try. Yeah, we have, we mentioned him before, and uh, when it comes to food, I actually, thanks to him, discovered a Guinean food that is called fufu. And you know what I did? I did a research. It was a player of Borussia Dortmund that said that he's playing so good because he's eating fufu. So what's the, the secret with fufu in, in the <laughs> Ghanaian professional sport? So I don't, I don't know what's secret, but fufu is really good. It's really good for like in Africa. You know, everyone eats fufu. Is that your favorite? Right. Favorite food? Not that favorite. Yeah, like I said, I like banku and oko soup. And what is mm, that? It's like corn, yeah. yeah. Corn? It's corn. Yeah. It's really good. It's really, it's, it's, it's really good. good. Really, really good. If and you about tried it. Serbian food, you like something? <laughs> you need to try it. I try, I try this. And? And it tastes good. It, 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 you need to try new things. I told you that might yeah, be good. Yeah, I will. Might I be will. good. So I heard before that your Serbian skills are not bad, but are kind of good. But I heard as well that your dancing <laughs> skills. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that? About your <laughs> dancing skills? <laughs> no, no. Don't want to talk because my, I don't want to talk because my dancing skills come when I'm happy, you know, when, or when I'm lonely at home. Then I try to dance or. Yeah. I just make myself happy when I'm in my room, that's all, but I don't dance like outside. <laughs> Edmund, thank you so much for your time. It was such a pleasure to talk to you about the, all these themes. And uh, you know that this program is particular, that I'm not wrapping up, so the camera is yours. You can say a message to all your fans. So, <laughs> I really say thank you for this interview and I'm, I really appreciate it. And thank you for everyone. And I really have, I have this for you. Is it shirt? Yes. Yeah, it's... My shirt Look at for the shirt. Nice, let me see. Nice. <laughs> so nice. Uh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you again. Thanks. Thank you.